The art of the intro, grabbing your reader. Writing is like baking a cake. You need the right ingredients, a good recipe, and a dash of creativity. But before you can savour the deliciousness, you need to entice people to take a bite. That's where the intro comes in. A good introduction is like a warm invitation, beckoning readers into your world. It sets the stage, piques their curiosity, and makes them want to keep reading. Think of it as the first impression, the handshake that says, Hey, come on in, I have something interesting to share. Imagine picking up a book with a dull, lifeless intro. You'd probably put it down, right? Now, picture a book that starts with a captivating anecdote, a thought-provoking question, or a bold statement. You'd be hooked. So how do you write an intro that grabs your reader's attention and doesn't let go? Let's dive in and find out. Why Section Intros Matter – Guiding the Way Just like a good book needs a captivating introduction, each section within your writing needs a mini intro of its own. Think of these section intros as signposts, guiding your reader through the twists and turns of your thoughts. Without clear section intros, your writing can feel like a jumbled mess of ideas. Readers might get lost, confused, or worse, bored. Section intros provide the structure and clarity that make your writing flow smoothly from one point to the next. Imagine reading a travel blog without any headings or breaks. You'd be scrolling endlessly, unsure of where you were or where you were going. Now, imagine that same blog with clear headings and concise intros for each destination. Much better, right? Section intros act as mini recaps, reminding readers of what they've learned and preparing them for what's to come. They create a sense of anticipation and keep your readers engaged. What are some ways you've seen writers use section intros effectively? Let's discuss in the comments. Crafting killer intros, tips and tricks. Now that we understand why section intros are crucial, let's talk about how to write them effectively. Don't worry, it's not as intimidating as it sounds. Here are a few tips and tricks to help you craft killer intros. Keep it concise. Remember, section intros are like mini introductions, so keep them brief and to the point. Aim for a few sentences that summarise the main idea of the section. Link back to the previous section. Create a seamless flow by connecting your section intro to the previous section. You can do this by using transitional words or phrases, or by briefly summarising the previous point. Introduce the main point. Clearly state the main idea or argument that you'll be discussing in the section. This helps readers understand the purpose and focus of the section. By following these simple tips, you can write section intros that are both informative and engaging. But remember, these are just guidelines. Feel free to experiment and find what works best for your writing style and your audience. What are some other tips you can share for crafting compelling intros? Share your thoughts in the comments below. The power of questions, sparking curiosity. Want to keep your readers hooked? Ask questions. Questions are like magic tricks for writers. They pique curiosity, encourage readers to think critically and make your writing more engaging think about it. When someone asks you a question, you naturally want to answer it, right? The same principle applies to writing. By asking questions in your section intros, you invite readers to actively participate in the conversation you're creating. For example, instead of starting a section with a bland statement like, social media has its drawbacks, try asking a thought-provoking question like, is social media connecting us or isolating us further? 
See the difference? Questions ignite curiosity and encourage readers to keep reading to find the answers. They also break up the monotony of text and add a conversational tone to your writing. So, the next time you're stuck on a section intro, try starting with a question. You might be surprised at how effectively it draws readers in. Have you ever used questions in your writing? Share your experiences in the comments below. Section 5. Transitioning smoothly. Connecting the dots. Writing is like building a bridge. Each section is a separate plank, and it's the transitions that connect them seamlessly, creating a smooth and enjoyable journey for the reader. Transitions are the glue that holds your writing together. They show the relationship between ideas, prevent abrupt shifts, and guide readers through your thought process. Without smooth transitions, your writing can feel choppy and disjointed. There are many ways to transition between sections. You can use transitional words and phrases like however, moreover, or on the other hand. You can also use summarizing sentences that recap the previous section and introduce the next. For example, you could transition from a section about the benefits of technology to a section about its drawbacks by saying something like, while technology offers numerous advantages, it's crucial to acknowledge its potential downsides. Smooth transitions are essential for creating a cohesive and engaging reading experience. They help readers follow your train of thought and appreciate the connections between your ideas. What are your go-to transition techniques? Share your tips in the comments below. Section 6. Examples in action. Seeing is believing. Let's take a look at some examples of effective section intros. Example 1. In the previous section, we explored the psychological benefits of spending time in nature. Now, let's delve into the physical health benefits of immersing ourselves in the great outdoors. Example 2. Social media has revolutionized the way we communicate, but has it come at a cost? This section examines the potential negative impacts of social media on our mental health and well-being. Example 3. We've discussed the importance of setting goals, but what happens when we face setbacks? This section provides practical strategies for overcoming obstacles and staying motivated on our journey to success. These examples demonstrate how section intros can effectively summarize previous points, introduce new ideas, and engage readers with thought-provoking questions. What other examples of effective section intros have you come across? Share them in the comments below. Section 7. Practice makes perfect. Your turn to shine. Now it's your turn to put these tips into practice. Take some time to review your own writing. Are your section intros engaging and informative? Do they smoothly transition between ideas? If not, don't worry. Like any skill, writing effective section intros takes practice. The more you write, the better you'll become at crafting intros that captivate your readers and guide them through your thoughts. Here's a challenge for you. Choose a piece of writing you're currently working on and revise your section intros. Experiment with different techniques, such as asking questions, using strong verbs, or incorporating surprising statistics. How did revising your section intros improve your writing? Share your experiences in the comments below. Section 8. Conclusion. Mastering the craft. Mastering the art of writing section intros is an ongoing journey. By following the tips and techniques outlined in this essay, you'll be well on your way to crafting intros that grab your readers' attention, guide them through your ideas, and leave them wanting more. Remember to keep it concise, connect to 